What's going on YouTube? Today we're playing a game called There's a Man in the Attic. Will there be a man in the attic? Only one way to find out. Oh boy, that's a lot of reading. It's gonna be one of those games. Okay. Uh, when I was a kid, I often had the same nightmare. It was about this man just standing in my room looking at me. I was convinced that he came from the attic. I shared a bedroom with my brother at that time. And when I had this dream, I often spoke out loud during my sleep. According to my brother, I said things like, Somebody is here. There is a man here. He is here. It freaks my brother out in the middle of the night a couple of times. I'm an adult now. And that horrible nightmare is just a distant memory now. Or is it? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Okay, graphics are pretty good. Oh, find my phone. Is it in the closet? No? Okay, that's just me. Nope! I don't need to use the bathroom now. Says you. What if I do need to use the bathroom right now? Oh! Ding ding! Check phone. Alex. Hey brother, I just wanted to let you know that we arrived at home safely. Thank you for the invitation. We had a great time and it was nice to catch up. I also feel like I have to apologize for Lily's behavior, but you know how kids are in their imagination. She's probably very tired as well. Uh, see you later. Take care. What the fuck, Lily? What the fuck were you doing? God damn it, Lily. It's getting late, but I should clean up first. Clean up the dining table. Clean the table? Sure. Today my brother came to visit and he brought his family along. His wife and their seven years old daughter. Her name is Lily and technically she is my niece. Technically? Technically? <laughs> Do we have uh, something we need to confess to uh, to our brother? Were, uh, were we and the wifey having a little um, uh, extracurricular activities at the wedding? <laughs> it's been a while since I last seen them, so we spent about half an hour catching up with each other, just talking. After a while, I noticed that Lily was really uninterested. I don't blame her after all. Adults talking about everyday stuff is probably the most boring thing for a child. I am a pretty good uncle, so I offered to let her watch TV in the upstairs room, showed her all the cartoon channels, and left her there to watch some TV, away from the boring adults. She was grateful. Boiler room. I don't need to go there. Okay. A weird empty room. Alright. The night went on. It seemed like everyone had a good time. Dinner was ready, so I was about to go upstairs to get Lily to eat with us. And that's when all of a sudden, Lily ran downstairs screaming. She looked absolutely terrified. It took her a couple of minutes before she could speak, but then she finally said, there was a man upstairs staring at me from the doorway. Confused, perhaps a bit frightened, we all went upstairs, searched everything. Checked the attic as well, only to find nothing. Eventually, my brother dismissed Lily's story, claiming she was probably just getting tired. And soon after they left for the night, I am once again completely alone in the house, and Lily's story sounds way too familiar. Dun dun dun! Okay. Yes. So, here we are. Alone in the house. Time to get some sleep. Okay. Let's go get some sleep. Go the fuck to bed. So far, your standard walking simulator. Uh, nothing too out there. I am gonna go up here. I just wanna see. Attic, no reason to go there. Okay. If you say so, protagonist. According to Lily's story, this is where the man was standing, looking straight at her from this doorway, before returning to the attic, just like in my dreams. Fucking creepy. Okay. Okay, well, time for night-night.
These noises, they are coming from the attic. Well, it's... Oh, the door is open. Ah! <gasps> I was just here, it was closed. So we know something's up. I don't remember leaving this door open. You fuck. Okay. <laughs> I don't know about this. <laughs> All right, yeah, this is pretty creepy. This is pretty creepy. Ooh. Whose taste in art is this? Oh. This is stupid. There's nothing up here. Right? I hear things, though. Is that just what I'm telling myself? That there's nothing up here because I'm too much of a pussoa to actually check it out. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to go back to bed because that's what the game is telling us to do. Well, time for night night. Sometimes a strange noise at night keeps you awake, then you anxiously search for the cause, but you won't find anything, and you question it once more. Is the man in the attic real? Oh no, I think we're having a dream. <laughs> I'm not moving. The game is moving us. This is, this is probably a dream, right? Oh, it's so dark upstairs. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm creeped out. Oh! Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Fear is subjective, but it is not uncommon to be afraid of the man in the attic. Or the man in the basement. Perhaps the man under your bed. Oh, there's a man under my bed? Excuse me? Do you promise? <laughs> Thank you for playing my specific fear, the man in the attic. Oh, that was it? I thought there'd be more to the game. That was it! Okay, so it wasn't scary, but I got seriously unnerved the, in parts of it. Uh, the developer did really nail the atmosphere pretty good, especially when you're upstairs searching the attic. That was a very, very creepy atmosphere. Good job! If you liked this video, go ahead and hit that like button. And uh, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button so you know when I have new videos coming out. It would mean a whole bunch to me and would really help me out with the YouTube algorithm. Until next time, everyone. Bye-bye.